Lucas Media. Don't forget to smash the like button, y'all. But Mikey Williams, you know, former superstar basketball player. Everybody know him since middle school. And he was unfortunately charged last year with uh, nine counts of felony, you know, allegedly firing a, a weapon at some people down there near San Diego. A bullet hole hit the car. Luckily, nobody was hurt, but he was arrested, charged. Um, he ended up committing for Memphis, and I ended up playing there. But we got some good news. The good news is he was able to work his charges down, uh, pleaded guilty last year, uh, did some community service, and now he got to do one-year probation. So as long as he don't get you know some huge issue, which I doubt, he'll be fine within a year. But now he's able to play at the University of Central Florida, which he transferred to. And I forget their head coach off the top of my head. I apologize, but I know he played for Duke under Coach K. This is a second chance, man. This is a second chance, Mikey. Uh, a, a lot of it, it wasn't his fault. It wasn't fair. It's really unfair, especially now that growing up, I got kids around his age. It's unfair that he had the spotlight on him since he was in seventh grade. And he was considered the next big thing. And how can you ask a 14-year-old kid not to be arrogant and cocky and so on and so forth? But, man, life has a, a way of humbling all of us. And any of us can be at our top, and you can be knocked down just like that. You know what I mean? So I hope that Mikey's learned his lesson. And even with basketball, right, like, you still have a chance to make it into the NBA. Very few people can do that and make hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars off your NIL deal. And the people that's around him, y'all. Please protect him. I can't stand when you see these athletes out here getting in trouble and they friends and family members who are enablers are uh, unafraid. They're afraid to say something with the thinking that they're going to end up getting cut off financially or with all the extra perks. Like if Mikey go down, the team goes down. I don't know who was there that night, but it shouldn't it shouldn't have went down like that. Nobody should have been firing a weapon that night. You should have been calling the police. You know, Mikey already had he was the first kid to have a, a shoe deal with Puma. I believe the first high school kid to have a shoe deal. I know Lamelo had his own shoe, but Mikey didn't have an actual shoe contract. And then you know he lost all those endorsements. And he recently did an interview saying that. All those people that he thought had his back turned on him. And that's how shady the world is, Mikey, man. They'll, when when, when, when you on fire, everybody want to be around you. But the minute you fall off, the people who really around, you know, your close friends and family, they're, they're going to be the only ones that really support you. So it's, it's, it's unfortunate, but he, he has a second chance, you know. And like I said, go to UCF, keep your head down, hoop. You still got a chance to make it to the league. UCF's in the Big 12 now, so... You know, it's still division. It's division one. I would have liked to seen him at Memphis under uh, Coach Penny, but and uh, his old teammate did he transfer to UCF too? JJ Taylor, that's his name. JJ Taylor, yeah, he down there as well. So you know, he got familiar faces. Dior Johnson down there. Dior as well had been on a on a redemption thing. He felt you know he got humbled as well. So you know, you 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 want to see good for Mikey, and it's just it's crazy because, and I try to tell my son and nephews this: just because you're on top. In 8th grade, and 10th grade, even in 12th grade, don't mean in 2-3 years you're going to be on top. And I and I mean as far as like the rankings and notoriety. See, people have moved on now. You know, Mikey, everybody that was in Mikey them grade are turning pros. Even Bronny. Bronny now the, the, is shifting over to, he's in the pros and Mikey's still in college. But that's okay because Mikey only, what, 20 years old? So he's still got time. It's, it's his freshman year. I'm sure he'll be a one and done. And, you know, hopefully he can be a first, second round pick. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. You know, salute to him again. Second chance, man. Don't, don't mess this one up. But tell me what y'all think.